digital self-determination. To be honest, I have never heard of the term digital self-determination before receiving this task. Digital self-determination. That's, I think I've never heard that word before, um, but I think it's something maybe about what you do and what you don't do online. To me, digital self-determination just means being in control of what I share online and what is being staged about me online. Self-determination itself is when you feel um, strongly in yourself and your abilities. So I guess digital would mean you feel strongly in your own ability um, with digi digital and also how that you feel strongly about yourself in digital contexts such as Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. For me, being self-determined in a digital age means that I know what data is collected from me and who uses it for what purposes. The word self-determination already implies that I can determine something. That's why it's important for me that I always have a choice when it comes to my data. For me, digital self-determination is the capacity of people to determine their existence online uh, with an understanding of the costs and values of the digital media they use. That is, the freedom to choose what companies or individuals they provide data to and what data they provide. I guess companies want us to feel um, digitally self-determined. I think they do quite a lot stuff. I'm not quite sure whether I am really truly digitally self-determined. I actually think no. I use the term data with the, the understanding that in the context of the online world, data has come to mean the information that companies and online platforms have about individuals such as you and me. Um, instead of just being another term for information. Um, this data could be about how we spend money or data about when to best push advertisements on this location data, etc. Um, but giving this information to social media companies and other online giants is the price we pay for, for free search engines and social media. But also more intimate things like my full name, my address, my email address, or even health related information especially in the times of a global pandemic. I think that Firefox definitely knows that I play Minecraft. Firefox, I mean, knows I have a, knows I have a Gmail, and if it can access some things, then click that. Um, with the browser, I mainly only have tabs for Google Docs um, for my Hebrew practices and such, and for Minecraft, so that would be the thing. But for maybe some other things? I, I don't know. Quite much, actually, I think. I mean, I don't even want to go through um, what Instagram, my smartphone, my iPhone, Safari knows about me. I think it would also be quite embarrassing, like, my search record, especially during exam phase. Yeah. Um, probably that I like art and cats. Mm -hmm. And D&D. &D. That's it. My school has influenced my digital self-determination, not only because they have a lot of my personal and digital information, but also because they, they provided me with certain digital services, such as an email address that I couldn't choose myself. I don't think my parents uh, really influenced me, just because of the fact that they are not too much comfortable or not too much aware of the internet and all those digital things so they wouldn't know what to advise me. My friends however they um, influence me quite a lot just because they are the most important reason for me to use um, social media for communication wise and if they all use Snapchat, WhatsApp and Instagram then it's really really hard for me to like make them all change to another platform and otherwise I'm just cut off. I think that you have the feeling that you have no digital self-determination when you, maybe you are watching stuff that you don't really want to watch or you would try to interact with something but the algorithm just 
won't leave you there. For example, if I'm talking to a friend about a very specific product and then the next time I look on my smartphone, I get an advertisement for exactly that product. When I have to accept a thousand cookies and I have no idea what they are. There are essential cookies, performance cookies, and I'm sure like a thousand more. I always feel a little bit uncomfortable when I accept these. I only give all apps the minimum necessary permissions and almost always switch off functions such as access to location or microphone. I think just learning about it is a huge step because, like I said, I have no idea what cookies are. I have no idea what I'm sharing, what, what apps can even save about me, um, how an algorithm is even created, or what exactly is data being used for it. That I remind myself that I don't have to give price certain information if I don't feel comfortable sharing the information with um, companies or websites.